Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. In his novel 1984, George Orwell wrote, Every record has been destroyed or falsified, every book rewritten. History has stopped. Nothing exists except an endless presence in which the party is always right. Fifty years ago, the National Center for Atmospheric Research showed that the year 1970 was cooler than the year 1870. A sharp cooling trend since the 1940s was blamed for drought and every other type of bad weather. But this cooling trend has since been erased by NASA. NASA now shows almost continuous warming since the year 1880. This graph overlays the 1974 NCAR graph in black on top of the NASA graph in red. You can see how there was fairly close agreement until the 1940s but since then, NASA has erased all of this post-1940s cooling. In 1978, the New York Times wrote that there is no end in sight to the cooling trend of the last 30 years. And they also said that data from the Southern Hemisphere, particularly south of latitude 30 south, are so meager that reliable conclusions were not possible. In this 2009 ClimateGate email, Phil Jones wrote, for much of the Southern Hemisphere, between 40 and 60 south, the normals are mostly made up as there is very little ship data there. So we know that there's very little historical land or ocean temperature data available for the Southern Hemisphere. But reality doesn't stop U.S. government agencies from publishing very detailed maps of temperature trends in the Southern Hemisphere. This is the NASA map for temperature trends from 1910 to 2023. NASA shows a lot of warming in South America, despite the fact that they have almost no data. This map shows where NASA actually has temperature data from 1910 to 2023 for Argentina and Uruguay. Most of the stations are centered around Buenos Aires, so let's take a closer look at those five stations. The station at Buenos Aires is located in the middle of one of the worst urban heat islands in the world. As the city has grown, Buenos Aires has warmed at a rate of about 3 degrees Fahrenheit per century. But the other stations in that region show little, if any, warming. The station at Mercedes, Uruguay shows almost no warming since 1910. But NASA and NOAA alter the measured thermometer data to create a warming trend which doesn't actually exist. And they've done exactly the same thing at the Bahia Blanca Airport in Argentina. There's no actual warming trend in the data, but NASA and NOAA alter it to create a fake warming trend. At Paso de los Toros, Uruguay, NASA and NOAA alter the temperature data to double the warming trend. At Roca, Uruguay, NASA and NOAA alter the temperature data to create a completely fake warming trend. There's little or no evidence of any warming at any of these four stations, nor is there any reason to believe that there's anything wrong with the thermometer data. Yet NASA and NOAA alter the temperature data at these four stations to create the appearance of a non-existent warming trend. What NASA and NOAA are doing is a process called homogenization, where they average in UHI contaminated data from Buenos Aires into all of these surrounding stations. The data from Buenos Aires is no good because it's a giant urban heat island. It should be excluded from the data set instead of contaminating its neighbors. The process of homogenization is not a legitimate scientific technique and would not be used by any legitimate scientist. It's the equivalent of adding a bad ingredient to a good soup, hoping that the bad ingredients will make the soup better. And then all of this imaginary and tampered data is used to generate NASA's official fake temperature maps and graphs. These official temperature graphs are an Orwellian rewrite of history. Toto has been pulling back the curtain on the climate scam for more than 16 years. You can visit him and his family on the web at realclimatescience.com.